Hello guys, welcome you again to another interesting news. This is a video of you would like you to like, share, comment as you enjoy the details of the news. According to what has been said, APC Group Petition Stenubu calls for sacking of Minister Matawali over alleged involvement in $2.1 billion arms deal. As we all know that, Matawali is presently a minister under Bola Metinumbu's presidential, you know, government. And now, uh, Matawali is also a former, you know, governor. I think a former governor of Zamfara State now. Now, this man is said to be involved in a $2.1 billion arm deal. How true is this? Is he actually involved in it? Well, don't forget that EPC Group now are petitioning Tinubu, calling for the sacking of this uh, former governor and present minister, Matawali. Well, let's see what uh, we have in the full news. According to the news, a Kaduna Bay social political pressure group, APC Kida Forum, has petitioned President Bola Tinubu, alleging that one of its ministers is among the biggest beneficiaries of the $2.1 billion arms deal scandal. In a petition signed by its chairman, Mala Musa Mahmoud, the group urged the president to consider dropping the Minister of State for Defense, Bill Matawale, over his alleged involvement in the arms deal that defrauded Nigeria of billions of dollars. Mahmoud said the group considers it as obligation to call the president to do what is needed because Mr. Matawali's position is sensitive. He said the position should only be occupied by an honest person whose reputation is not stained by corruption. APC Akira further reminded the president that the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, is investigating Matawali for alleged 70 billion naira fraud. The former Zamfara state governor is under investigation for his alleged involvement in a, in a fraud amounting to 70 billion naira. Matawale was Zamfara governor from nine, in 2019 to 2023. In the petition to the president, the group stated that Matawale is on feet for the renewed hope cabinet as he was indicted and listed first among individuals and companies that received payment without you know constructual agreement the petition titled believe below matawali of his position as a minister so that ESC can investigate his alleged involvement in a corruption case worth 70 billion era and the $2.1 billion arms deal is dated April 15, 2024. Part of the petition reads, During his tenure, there were allegations of mismanagement of public funds and resources. Recall that on the 18th of May 2023, the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, ESCC, through its director, you know, the then director, media and public affairs, Osita Nwaja, Nwaja, said that the ESCC is investigating Matawaliva alleged of monumental corruption, award of phantom contracts, and diversion of over 70 billion naira. According to the EFCC, the money which was sourced as a loan from an old generation bank purportedly for the execution of projects across the local government areas in the state, was allegedly diverted by the governor through proxies and contractors who received payments for contracts that were not executed. The commission's investigation revealed that over 100 companies had received payments from the funds with no evidence of service rendered to the state. Some of the contractors who had been invited and quizzed by the commission made a you know, startling revelation 
on how the governor allegedly compelled them to return the funds received from the state coffers back to him through his aides after converting the same United States dollars had currency. The companies confirmed that they did not render any service to Zamfara State still. They were allegedly directed to convert the money paid to them into United States dollars, that is, hard currency, and return them to the state government through some of its commissioners, notably those in charge of finance and local government affairs. Regarding the $2.1 billion arm deal, the group noted that Matawale is on the list of dishonorable Nigerians and companies that benefited from the former NSA's $2.1 billion arms deal scandal. It said, Bello Matawale is on feet in the renewed Hope cabinet. He was indicted and companies that received payment without contractual agreement from security funds in the office you know, of the former National Security Advisor Sambo Dasuki, EFCC has the evidence. The APC Akida Forum is appealing to Mr. President to allow the EFCC to continue investigating the alleged mismanagement of public funds by Bello Mohamed Matawali during his tenure as the governor of Zamfara State and his involvement in the famous arm deal scandal. As part loyalist, we want the Economic and Financial Crime Commission EFCC to investigate the matter and bring those responsible for the mismanagement of funds to justice. This will serve as a deterrent to others considering engaging in corrupt practices in public office, especially in addition to what happened to the humanitarian minister. What is your take to this? What is your own reaction to this plan development? We've just heard what has been said. Of course, there is no, you know, no politician in Nigeria that is free from corruption. Everyone has a corruption, you know, case hanging on their neck. Now it's Minister Matawali that has been reviewed. We would like you to share it with us via the comment section on this that has been said. But before we go, a quick reaction from, you know, Profi saying that until we drop tribalism, then we will be able to fight against the corrupt leaders among us. Until then, let's continue to live in the, you know, lies that we've gotten ourselves to. We aren't ready yet. We are all going nowhere. This is a powerful reaction from Profi saying that we are not going anywhere if this level of corruption continues. He said until we drop tribalism, then we will be able to fight against corrupt leaders among us. If that is yet to happen and we continue to live in lies, it's obvious we are not ready and we are going nowhere. What do you think can be done in order to get Nigeria back on track to get Nigeria out of this present you know corrupt leaders because it's obvious that nigeria is being led by corrupt leaders and that is why corruption has become you know the order of the day in nigeria we would like you to share it all with us on this don't forget that apc group now is petitioning to Nubu, calling for the sack of minister matawali who's also the former governor of zafara state over alleged involvement in 2.1 billion dollar arms deal thank you guys for listening subscribe to this channel